welcome to another exciting episode of Outdoor Mountain TV. Um, right now, we're about to go scouting for in the morning. In the morning, I got the idea, hey, why not go out and try to kill a coyote or coyote hunt? Try to save some fawns this time of year. Um, we've been seeing some coyotes on the trail cam, but um, I wanted to go out and scout right now just to see like where I'm gonna sit and stuff so I'm not having to look in the dark. But also, I don't really want to walk around that much and uh, kind of like mess up the area and get human scent all over the place. So we're just going to go look real quick. Stay tuned for this episode. Should be a good one. Okay. We are going to be hunting this field in the morning. So I just kind of want to look around. It's kind of grown up. We got soybeans planted for the deer. Went really good this year. Um, might go take a look at that real quick. But I don't really know where I want to sit this uh, tomorrow morning. But see, I kind of I don't I'll, where I usually sit won't be able to see because of the grass. But I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. Looking behind me right here, you can see that we got a good food plot going. But we have two things in this food plot and soybeans and cow peas. And you can tell that the beavers absolutely love the soybeans. As you can tell, they are pretty much uh, nibbled off almost all the way down to the ground. So you see the soybeans very low compared to the cow peas which are about a foot or two high soybeans cow peas it's crazy you can tell that deer would absolutely prefer soybeans over that but it was an experiment this year so it all grew pretty well they have just absolutely demolished this soybeans though Okay, I'm on top of this dirt right here, and uh, I think this is where I'm going to sit in the morning. Just right in here, in these trees right here, so I'll kind of blend in. And I'll have camo on, so hopefully nothing can see me, but I'm going to be calling from here. And I, I'm going to put my decoy out there in all the soybeans and stuff. So hopefully we can try to save a couple fawns in the morning and uh, kill a coyote maybe two okay welcome back um, we were not able to go coyote hunting this morning but for whatever reason uh, got some yard work to do and then also we will be uh, coyote hunting this afternoon uh, we'll see how that goes but um <laughs> Okay, got the coffee here. And the puppy Aka. No, but seriously, it's uh, kind of looking like it's about to rain. As you can tell, it's very dark. Um, I don't really know if you can see us, honestly. But it's got, starting to get later at night, and I'm gonna go out to the field, try to get a coyote, call in, try to save some fawns. So, yep. anything you'd like to say? We have made it out here and uh, we're gonna walk out here, but got the AR. I'm gonna go coyote hunting, I'm gonna get all set up. It's been sprinkling, so we'll see if the weather does anything, affects it in any way. But we're gonna set up our decoy out in the middle. Let's go ahead and get a round in here. 
All right, we're all set up. Okay. Okay. Wants to chew on this little black lab. All right, stay here, buddy. Just stepped in an ant hill. That's a good way to start it off. All right, quiet mode. Here we go. starting to rain pretty hard uh we're in the green right now and it's about to get red so i think this hunt is over we're gonna get up out of here i had a little stare down with the deer didn't see any coyotes but we are gonna get out here and kill some coyotes save the fawns okay well we had to cut the trip short because it's raining uh it's about to start raining even harder um but thank y'all for watching this outdoor, or this episode of Outdoor Mountain TV. See y'all next time.